Hello friends, welcome back. In today's video, we are going to see how to understand the HVAC unit schedule. So like you see in this image, the basic question will come to everyone's mind says that for example, we have the split unit here and the air will come out from this unit and the same air from the room, it will come back to the unit. So this air which is coming from the unit, uh, this is normally we call aft, aft coil or after the coil. Because uh, we have the evaporator coil here, so the the air the air will come through this coil. That is the after the coil. Same air after taking the load, it will go back to the unit. So this one we will call as a on coil temperature. So this is the off coil temperature and this is the on coil temperature. So normally after this coil, off coil, the relative humidity will be 95, 90, 95 percentage, almost near to the saturation stage. But the for the comfort condition in the room, we need the RH or the relative humidity 50 to 60 percentage. So the coil comes out with a very high relative humidity of 90-95 percentage. But we need in the room of 50 to 60 percent RH. So how this is possible in the HVAC system? So we will see how to understand this one properly. And in addition to that one, we are going to see the uh, technical parameters, uh, how this each parameters are coming. Like uh, in HVAC system, there is a basic term, basic uh, technical parameters for all the unit, like in split unit, FCU, or uh, AHU, FHU, whatever the unit we go. We normally can see these type of important parameters like uh, total cooling load, sensible cooling load, air flow, on coil temperature. Entering air means always the on coil temperature. Entering air dry bulb, wet bulb temperature. And uh, we can here it is not given like off coil temperature, dry bulb, wet bulb. That also we will see. And the ambient temperature, selection of ambient temperature given. It is based on the Dubai. So different countries like India and other countries have different different ambient temperature. So this condition 46 degree. Normally we follow for the Dubai also for the Qatar and different countries. Mostly for the Middle East we follow this 46 degree Celsius ambient temperature. So we will see one by one how these parameters we need to check and understand for the R for all the units. So we will verify this one uh, using one example here. So first you can see this temperature what I have shown here is the on coil temperature 24 by 17. So here in our schedule like you see here we have given on coil temperature for the different split unit 24 by 17 the constant temperature they have followed for all the unit. So this is applying to normal office building. So they have followed 24 by 17 the 24 dry bulb and 70 degree wet bulb temperature for all the office building. So like you see here in this image. This is the online psychrometry chart I have taken here. So dry bulb and wet bulb I have entered the same value. And here the RH value you can see is almost 50 percent. That is the comfort condition uh, for this uh, room we have considered. So in addition to this RH we have to consider some other we have to see some other parameter also. For example, we need to see the humidity ratio and we have to see the dew point temperature. So this is also one of the important thing we need to see here. Now first we saw the on coil temperature and moving forward we have the ambient temperature in the Dubai as I showed you there. In the schedule also it is mentioned the unit selection is based on the ambient temperature of 46 degrees Celsius. For example if you go to India the temperature will be different. So here I entered the same uh, value in the psychrometer chart again. The 46 degree dry bulb temperature and wet bulb temperature 29. You can see the RH value which is 28.834 percentage. So this is the outside ambient condition RH value that is 28.834 percentage. And the, also in the outside here you can see the humidity ratio that means the the amount of air uh, present, present in the kg of dry air. So this amount of air, uh, K, you can see the unit also, is gram per kilogram of dry air. So in 1 kg of uh, dry air, you can see 18.476 gram of uh, water vapor or uh, moisture is present. So this value is 18.476. Uh, this is for the outside air. Now we, we saw earlier the on coil. Now one more term also we need to see that is the off coil temperature. So after the coil, I mean the off coil, what is the temperature we have here for this, uh, uh, this unit? That is 12.8 and uh, 12.34. So this for this this value also we have considered the, uh, the we have entered the same thing for example dry bulb and RH. So RH why I have taken uh, 95 percentage here. So normally after the coil uh, in the coil proper uh, dehumidification will happen. So after the coil normally this RH will go near to 90 to 95 percentage. I mean the near to the saturation uh, limit. For example if you see here 
so this is the saturation uh, code mean it is almost very near to the saturation limit i mean 95 percent is very near to the saturation limit so when at this condition the dry bulb will be almost equal to wet bulb so when wet bulb is near to the dry bulb the rh will be very high and the humidity ratio will be low so here you can see the humidity ratio it is 8.77 so earlier you can see what i have entered here 2470 degrees Celsius, the humidity ratio is 9.27 uh, and for the off coil temperature it is 8.77 and same if you go to the, the ambient temperature the humidity ratio is 18.476 so the moisture content or water vapor content you can understand from different temperatures the three different temperature we have shown now this is the comparison so you can easily understand first this one so outdoor temperature I have given the RH percentage and humidity ratio then indoor temperature i mean the on coil temperature then we have shown the off coil temperature so three different uh, terms i have shown for the comparison so after the coil what happened the rh is high so moisture content content is low moisture carrying content is low because why already the air is very near to the saturation limit so it it, it cannot carry more water vapor in the air so the moisture content is very low after the coil i mean off coil so what we need to understand first here, the cold air carries a less moisture humidity ratio than warm air. Like you see the after the coil, that is the cold air. The moisture carrying capacity of air drops when the temperature drops. So this is what you saw now. 46, 46 degrees Celsius ambient temperature, the humidity ratio was very high. After that we saw the 24 degree dry bulb temperature, I mean the on coil. It was a uh, little bit low. Then again off coil temperature, again it was very low. So when the temperature drops continuously, the um, humidity ratio also drops so off coil after the coil air with a high rh will come after the coil and low temperature enters into the room to remove the heat and moisture from room so this one now we are going to understand very clearly this one so in order to understand this basic and the uh, very important thing we need to know one important term here sensible heat ratio so sensible heat ratio is very simply saying that sensible heat ratio is expressed in percentage and it is calculated by dividing the sensible heat by total heat so shr 80 percentage means sensible heat is 80 percentage and the total heat while well, the other 20 percent is the latent heat for example sensible heat ratio is equal to sensible heat divided by total heat so this is the very important thing when we go for the uh, coil selection and this thing so this will decide uh, what is the exact uh, thing we need to consider for the coil now we will see uh, a little bit a uh, little bit explanation more explanation for example you can you know that normally we have the sunlight lamps people printed uh, laptops microwaves ovens and other office equipment and cooking appliances which emit sensible heat so the heat emitted by these equipment and appliances will rise the temperature of the room so the simple term is uh, sensible heat is related to the temperature latent heat is related to the water vapor or moisture so whatever the things which rises the temperature that means it increases the sensible heat for example we have a room where we have the based on the cooling load calculation that means based on the half calculation for example we have the sensible load is 9000 bt per hour latent load is 2000 bt per hour total load is 11000 bt per hour so in this case what is the sensible heat ratio that is equal to sensible load which is coming from here divided by total load that is 0.82 so 0 0.82 is the sensible heat ratio so higher shr means higher sensible heat uh, ratio close to one mean what we need to understand more changes in temperature and less changes in humidity removed so very less humidity removed but more change in uh, temperature so lower shr means less change in temperature more humidity removed now we will see some of the different application so you can understand very clearly now so here you first see there are different SHR value I have given by seeing one uh, HVC schedule you can understand what is this application for. So data center and server room normally this SHR will be very high because there is no no need of uh, re removal of Hello friends one minute we also hard to collect all the information from various sources to give you best understanding of the subject. Most of the people watch the video but they don't subscribe. Please motivate us by subscribing our channel to post more and more technical videos for you. Thank you water vapor or moisture only the sensible heat has to be removed from the data center so that's why this shr is very high almost one you can expect offices room is a moderate load will be there 0 0.8 to 0 you can say 0 0.8 to 9 because more amount of sensible load we have to remove from the office small amount of latent load we have to remove 
and classroom also the same range conference room so like one by one i have given and the last one if you see the swimming pool it is 0 0.5 to 0, 0 0.6 that means um, the humidity is playing a very important role in the swimming pool so that's the reason the shr value is very low okay so this is the first understanding so now we will come to our uh, hvc unit schedule to see what is there in our application for example in our case you can see here in our application sensible load is uh, let's say the first unit sensible load is 2.07 and total load is 2.91 so we will see, we can see what is uh, this value coming 2.07 divided by 2.91 that means 0.711 so uh, you can understand the the concept here this is sensible heat ratio is 0.71 so that means 71 percent is sensible load and only balanced 29 percent is latent load is contributing uh, that has to be removed by the cooling coil so more uh, focus is on the sensible load we have to consider so i think this calculator you couldn't see so i'll just to show you again so it is 0 0.711 that means uh, 71 percentage sensible load and balance 29 percentage latin load has to be removed by the cooling coil now we will see one example uh, how to uh, verify this uh, sensible load for example here we have given the first unit 2.07 uh, kilowatt is the sensible load so uh, 150 liter per second is the total air flow using this value now we can verify uh, whether that load value is correctly given or not so we have to know one formula the basic formula q is equal to mcp delta t and uh, here we need to we need to consider some of the parameters first we need to consider the density of air at 20 degrees celsius that is 1.204 kilogram per meter cube mass is the air flow that is that should be in meter cube per second cp is the specific heat of air that is 1.006 kilojoule per kilogram degree celsius delta t on coil dry bulb minus off coil dry bulb so here the on coil in our application we have considered 24 degree celsius that is for the office building so on coil we know for the off coil it is given uh, it is given like 12.6 degree celsius so here off coil is not given but you know how to find out the off coil temperature the basic term we need to understand from the cooling coil cooling coil, cooling coil has to remove the water vapor as well as the temperature uh, from the which is coming from the room so the the cooling coil off coil temperature you know the the basic term dew point temperature so dew point is the what dew point is a temperature where the uh, where the air begins to condense so in the off coil the air should go the the dew point temperature so that is a that is the reason the off coil temperature we are selecting based on the dew point temperature so in this application we have considered we have considered to, means the engineer has considered 12.6 degrees celsius so the same one i am going to select normally when i go for the selection for the off coil i exactly consider the dew point temperature for the specified condition so here what happened what normally i do so i show you the example also so here for example yeah 24 degree celsius is a dry bulb and wet bulb is a 70 degree celsius for this condition what is the dew point temperature if you see it is 12.841 that's the dew point temperature that means at this point only the air will start condense once it is once it is started condensing then automatically the water vapor and the temperature will be removed from the air you can see the condensed to water also uh, because the condensation is happening so this is the temperature normally i consider for the off coil temperature when it comes to the uh, cooling coil for example this is the air is coming and this is the cooling coil and the air is going to the room so i am now we are discussing about the off coil temperature that is 12.84 degrees celsius and what about the cooling coil temperature then so when the off coil temperature is 12.8 that should be the cooling coil is at least 1.5 to 2.5 degrees celsius lower than the off coil so this is the temperature we can guess from the off coil temperature normally so this is how the things are uh, performed so now we will see one example so like i showed here yeah like i showed here you can see density of air i have given air flow rate in our case it is 150 liter per second i need to convert in meter cube per second so 150 liter per second i just divided by 1000 so it is 0.14 multiply with 1.204 i have taken from here then 1.006 is coming from the specific heat of air constant value then delta t delta t we know the on coil and in this case the engineer has considered 12.6 is off coil so if you apply all this value you will get 2.07 kilowatts so that is a value you need to consider for the hvac unit schedule so now we understand how these uh, technical parameters are coming so we will see one more important terms also for example i open here one uh, one unit schedule hvac unit the carrier is the manufacturer and when we go for the selection the first very important thing what we need to see is the t1 and t3 condition 
so the T1 condition they have given the outside air temperature they have considered 35 degree Celsius dry bulb. So T3 condition they have given the outer air temperature they have considered 46 degree dry bulb. So the T1 and T3 the both value will vary. It will not be same. For example, if you see this at the top side unit, for example, rating capacity T1 and rating capacity T3. If you see a one point is two ton unit, the two ton unit at uh, T1 condition it is 25,000 BTU per hour, but when it comes to T3 condition it is 22,000 BTU per hour. So in our case, for example, this is the middle east project I showed you. We need to consider the T3 condition because that is a 46 degrees in set dry bulb temperature. So we need to consider all the unit selection based on the T3 condition, not the T1 condition. So uh, so finally, I hope you understand uh, how to identify the uncoil, half coil, uh, total cooling load and the sensible cooling load we evaluated based on the formula and the unit selection also. So once this is done then you need to match the air flow rate. So air flow rate normally given at this point. So air flow rate uh, here it is given the CFM. The selection will be always based on the medium. We should not go with the higher uh, high and low. Always the medium uh, should be matched. So you can verify the exact amount of air flow where it is matching and uh, similar to that one you can verify the total cooling load also and following these two terms you can select the split unit so i hope you can uh, you are clearly un um, understood what uh, we are discussing so far so if you have any doubt please add your comment in the comment section thank you